the biggest single problem is police aren't being held accountable. And that's why I'm glad that Libertarian Congressman Justin Amash uh, has created a tri has put together tripartisan legislature. I love that we were able to say tripartisan now. That's a thing now. Uh, tripartisan legislature, uh, legislator, legislation to end qualified immunity. Uh, and for those who don't know what qualified immunity is, essentially, imagine if you could go into a courtroom and say, Your Honor, I know that I'm being tried for murder, uh, but I think what I did was perfectly reasonable. And the judge goes, Oh, okay, well, if you're being tried, if you, if you think it was reasonable, then I'll just throw the charges out. That's essentially what qualified immunity is. And I, we could spend an hour plus talking about what it is. But the breakdown is it creates a system where Derek Chauvin, who murdered George Floyd, which sparked these protests, he had 17 other complaints against him, including wrongful death complaints. He may have murdered other people. And the Minneapolis Police Department, when they looked at Derek Chauvin, they did the same thing that police departments around the country do when they look at the bad apples in their bunch. They said, this cop is terrible. He's out here killing people. He's out here doing all sorts of damage and infringing on people's rights. But if we try to fire him, we're going to have to fight the police unions. And it's going to cost us an absolute fortune. And he's not really costing, costing us anything staying on the force because of qualified immunity. We, we can't get sued, and neither can he. So we'll just keep him on. He'll eventually commit a crime, and we can, you know, we can get rid of him then. That's why this ended up happening. All of the other problems that happen, if, uh, if police and, and government officials were held accountable for, for the infringements that they do on the lives and constitutional rights of people, uh, then that would create a flip of that. So now the police departments would look at the Derek Chauvin and say, we got to get rid of this guy the first time he had a problem because we don't want to get sued. And the police unions, who also don't want to have to pay off all those lawsuits, would be doing the same thing. So you would now have them actively rooting out bad police, not just uh, you know, once they do something, but even before they ent enter the force. So that would incentivize good policing and punish bad policing and help heal that rift between the police and the public, especially the most marginalized among us. So it, it, it's interesting the, the the contradictions on both sides of the ideological spectrum. Oh, yeah. And I don't really buy the left right thing, but um, conservatives, when they hear your argument that you just made, they're they're going to hashtag the shit out of you. They're going to say blue lives matter, and they're going to argue that that's not really a problem. And what's interesting about that is conservatives very much understand that power corrupts, and and their ideology is limited government because. You can't trust um, unchecked bureaucrats with unlimited power. Exactly. And they would say that about the EPA. They'd say that about the Department of Labor. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to law enforcement, the actual people enforcing it now, they have, a, now they you have, have a, to comply. They have their blinders have comply, on. Yeah. And and the other the other half of that, I'll, I'll pick on the left for a little bit because um, if they really want to take on police accountability. They have to do something about public unions, yep. and that's a that's a contradiction for them because they believe that that special privileges for government workers is an essential part of the the sort of progressive mission. We have to protect them yep. from accountability for the people, um, and so they have their blinders on. And it goes back to the theater you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Instead of doing something like Justin Amash's bill on qualified immunity, instead of actually structural reform. Um, they got everybody yelling at everybody, and, and I'm not sure that anything real is going to happen this year. It's, and it, it, unfortunately, because there aren't enough libertarians in office, because again, the Republicans and Democrats have a vested interest in A, allowing problems to continue, B, if at all possible, making those problems worse, and C, making sure that everyone stays nice and hateful of each other as a result of it. Mm -hmm.